besties welcome back to another video if you are new here i am sharnique and as y'all can see by the title we are going to be getting into how to highlight and contour set bake and all of that good stuff so let's just go ahead and jump straight into this tutorial because we're not gonna waste no time so y'all already know i'm prepping her skin cleansing it and exfoliating it and getting it nice and moisturized before the foundation process all the products are listed down below in my description box now y'all know the importance importance of prepping your client's skin is key to a flawless finish so we're taking some serums moisturizers and some primers and getting her skin nice and prepped and hydrated for the foundation routine okay, yeah. So we got to protect the baby hair. So I am taping down her edges so we don't get any foundation and makeup on it. Now y'all know I like to judge by the eye, okay? I've been doing this for so long. So this is how I try to see what color and shade is good for her. I did end up mixing about three shades together. I use a mixture of NARS and Maybelline Fit Me, y'all. And as you can see, her face was darker than her neck. So we're matching with her neck today and just a little bit of her face, but more so with her neck. So I think I got that color down pack really well. Now y'all know you want to go down and blend under that neck and under that chin, under the chin and down the neck. So don't forget to get that. I'm taking a Real Technique foundation brush and I'm patting that product in. It's kind of sped up a little bit, but you can see me patting the product in and not like spreading the product out if that makes sense i always tell my girls never spread the product because you can take the product away by spreading it so you want to pat the product on there now it's time to highlight which is my favorite part now this concealer was not bright enough but we're going to still go with it and then we're going to go back with a lighter concealer on top of it i needed it to mix two different shades anyway because i didn't really have the shade that i was really looking for so I did end up mixing two different shades. So for the highlighting process, we go under the eyes, middle of the chin, under the nose, middle of the nose, and the middle of the forehead. I'm using the Bare Minimals Concealer Brush. And then this is when I went back in with a lighter shade to brighten up the under eye more and to brighten up that highlight more overall because it was not bright enough for me. So yeah. So before I finish her highlighting part, I'm going to go ahead and contour her nose. This is a new technique I'm adding to my routine. And my routine always changes every other year, every other month, girl. Like, I'm always doing something new. And I saw one MUA on Instagram do this, and I was like, I have to try that technique out. So I'm taking some uh, dark concealer shade, like at least two shades so I can do her skin tone. And I am carving out her contour first so i like to go in on the side of her nose you can make it as skinny as you want to it's up to you and i like to go in and drag that concealer towards her like her eyebrows right and then i'm taking a smaller concealer brush and i'm going to finish highlighting like her forehead and her nose so i'm going to go in and kind of just form the shape like around the contour so i'm doing it with her forehead i feel like i'm not explaining this right but y'all can see what i'm doing and i'm just going down the middle of her nose and just highlighting the middle and i feel like this gives you the perfect nose contour because sometimes you can mess up if you do like the highlight first and then you try to go back and draw like the contour i don't know i feel like this technique was easier for me i don't know but i'm so in love with it so i'm going to stick with this technique okay so i'm going to contour her cheeks same thing um instead of going like directly in the middle where her ears start i'm going kind of at an angle so i'm going like down at an angle and kind of like curving that out if that makes sense 
and then I'm going to also contour her forehead and this is the highlight and, and the contouring part I like to go ahead and do it all together at the same time go ahead and blend out her contour first I'm using a real technique this is a foundation brush it's the same as the first one it's just smaller so I'm going to blend out her contour first and I'm not going to blend it too harshly because we don't want to get rid of that shadow we want to keep that contour shadow so I'm blending the contour out first and then I'm going to go in and blend out her highlight and then when I blend out her highlight y'all are going to see me go in between with each brush because I want to make sure those harsh lines are blended so like right here I'm going back with that other brush and kind of blending like the outer harsh lines out and I like to go in between each brush just to make sure that blend is flawless because we want that blend to be blended out to perfection before we set it with the powder. So we're going to move on to the blush. Y'all know I'm going in with the liquid blushes from Juvia's Place and I'm going to apply that on her cheeks. I like to go in with like two different brushes. They both give me like a different blending technique. I don't know. It's weird. It's just, just my technique, but they both do different jobs. So I like to use like the e.l.f. blending blush brush and then I like to go back in with that real technique blush and just use those two until I get the look I'm going for now let's go ahead and set okay so this is not baking I am setting her face and when you set it's pretty much you pressing that powder in the skin and not just pressing it on there to where it's like super powdery so I'm pressing that powder in and I'm just setting her face first so I'm just using some translucent powder this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm taking my triangle powder puff and I'm pressing that powder in her skin so I'm not baking yet I'm just pressing the powder in and you can see the difference already y'all look at one side and look at the other perfection okay do not be afraid to use powder do not be afraid to use too much powder as long as you are using the right technique when it comes to setting the powder and applying it on and also the right shades you are good to go okay so i like to go in and use translucent powder all over the face before i apply like the foundation powders and stuff because i feel like it gives me like a nice smooth finish like that nice skin finish okay so we're setting first and then i'm going to go in and I, I pretty much say all over her face I usually would just do the highlight part but I went all over her face so I'm gonna go in and set her contour I'm taking like a dark foundation color not too dark but almost like one shade darker than her skin tone just to kind of add that definition back into the contour so I'm doing her cheeks and then her forehead and then I'm going in with the powder blush to set her blush to bring that color back into her skin and it looks so pretty I love this blush and I love this brush this is the morphe brush by the way I'm just applying that brush at like an angle 
um, like a little bit under her eyes and like down her cheeks and it looks so pretty. Now my favorite part, I'm going to carve out her face. So I like to go and carve out her cheeks. Now you don't have to carve the face out, but if you want that extra snatch look, then you could carve um, your client's face. So I like to go in and carve just to get that extra snatch look. So I do the cheeks and then I do like the side like of her nose to give that super snatch contour look and this is when you will bake okay this is baking where well, you can still see the powder and you're just gonna leave it on there you're not gonna like press it and set it in you're just gonna apply it and let it sit and let it bake so this is what i like to call baking okay and this technique is just so freaking perfect because it literally carves out the face even more and just gives like that snatch look so I'm just doing under her eyes a little bit in the middle of her nose and of course the cheeks and I'm going to speed through her eye process because again this is only to focus on the highlighting and the contouring. All right, so I'm finishing off her face by setting it with some foundation powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation powder to set that translucent powder. And this is pretty much the final look. I went in with some Morphe setting spray to spray and set her face, finish off her lips. And yeah, I love how this makeup look came out. It was super flawless and super simple. I hope you girls enjoyed this highlighted and contouring makeup tutorial. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to check down below in my description box for all the details leave some comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you made it all the way through thank y'all so much love y'all and i will see y'all in my next video ciao